Hello friends, this is Christy Sanger bringing you insights for the week starting Wednesday, July 8th through next Tuesday, July 14th. This information is based on my study of human design and my transformational mentoring. Wednesday, July 8th, today at 10.15 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, the energies give us a good day to launch a new project. Spend time in meditation considering how you personally need to awaken to your higher values. What are your values and what must you do to combine your day-to-day life with your higher values? Quiet your mind and allow inspiration to move through you so you can clearly get your message across and communicate your higher values to whomever will help keep you accountable. So you apply these higher values to your life. It's time to live your values. Today might be a day where issues that have been causing anger and frustration come to a head. Stay with these feelings and let life show you how to handle your challenges. Remember, our challenges are always friendly. They teach us lessons we must apply to our lives. When we do this, challenges evaporate, never to be seen or felt again. Today is a wonderful day to reflect on the past to help change your future. Has your life been fun? Has it been happy and fulfilling? If not, spend time in meditation today considering how you can change. What must you do to bring happiness and fulfillment to your daily life? Finally, today is quite a deep day as I'm also asking you to send out a prayer for all of humanity with the intention of moving away from the old fossilized ways of doing things into the new way of doing things that all of humanity can embrace. I know this is a stretch, but today, shoot for the stars. Thursday, July 9th is also a great day to initiate, to move forward with new plans or projects. It's a day of innovation, breakthroughs, and high intuition. It's wonderful if you have new ideas and or plans today. Just slow down and realize that Mother Earth is putting a lot of pressure on us. You might feel like you should be doing something. If this is true, slow down, meditate, quiet the mind, and ask for inner guidance to give you the messages, the downloads you need to move forward with your work in the world. Finally, today is a day where your opinions, the expression of your opinions, may be what is needed to cut through misunderstandings. A quiet mind and open heart will give you all the information you need. Friday is a wonderful day for new launches. It's a day of divine inspirations, miracles if you will. Quiet the mind, meditate, and listen to your heart and soul speak. Today is a great day to enhance your work in the world. It's a day of very high vision, so spend time letting go of whatever no longer serves you. You know what this means for you because Friday is a day of such clear vision. Be open for a miracle. In fact, plan on it. Saturday is not a good launching day, so sit back and relax. Saturday is a day to focus on your values your family family values and what truly feeds your soul. Today, spend time considering what you need to do to up-level, to transform your work in the world. How can you align your work with your soul's purpose? You may be struck today with the realization that all your hard work as far as your inner healing is finally working. Saturday and Sunday, we enter into an energetic phase that makes it imperative to be completely clear when committing to anything. If you commit to the wrong things, you'll be stuck without any way to back out until the cycle has completed, which could take years. This is great if your commitment is your calling or completely troublesome if it is not. Saturday and Sunday, spend time in meditation considering this. Be still and know releasing fears and concerns around your imparent inaction. Realize that sitting back, waiting, watching, and observing is many times the best course of action. 
My favorite saying in such situations is let go and let God. Feel free to substitute your higher power in that phrase as you work on this. You'll find that small effort when you're true to your vision, clarity, and values, true to your still knowing brings large results. A little bit more specifically about Sunday, July 12th. Sunday, spend time considering whatever it is that you've felt inspired to do. This might be inspiration you felt a couple weeks ago. Think about this again, and if you're feeling you need to move forward, you're going to go through a period of testing. Are you committed? Are you ready to move forward and overcome whatever challenges might present themselves? Quiet the mind, be still, visualize yourself as the majestic mountain and wait for the messages to come. From Sunday and then into the next five days, we're going to be in an energetic phase of getting organized. Be clear with your communication to others about how you plan to organize yourself. Today is the day to put your story away for good and realize that your future will be whatever you want it to be as long as you're speaking your truth. Monday is still a good day to launch starting at about 1035 Mountain Time. Spend time today considering about what healing means and feels like for you. Spend time in meditation feeling what it would feel like for you to be completely healed in all ways, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. Get rid of, let go of any excess baggage today. Let go and focus on how it feels to be free and open. And finally, Tuesday, June, July 14th is a good day to initiate and move forward with new plans. Realize that whatever your plans are for today, quiet your mind, be still, and focus on cooperation. If you focus on cooperation today with your endeavors, you will be successful. Make sure you listen to all input and realize that any challenges you may encounter are for the common good for humanity. If information presents itself that questions a change in plans, use your sense of smell. I know it sounds funny but use your sense of smell to verify if the change smells right. And as always, every day, but specifically today, focus on your blessings. Spend time in meditation for gratitude for all you are and all you've been giving. Many blessings. Until next time.